So we have started to see the first few tributes being laid here at Clapham Common Bandstand. We've also uh, received a statement from the Everard family today. It came through the Metropolitan Police uh, and it reads, It is a year since Sarah died and we remember her today as every day with all of our love. Our lives have changed forever and we live with the sadness of our loss. Sarah was wonderful and we miss her all the time. Over the past year, we have been overwhelmed with the kindness shown to us, not just by family and friends, but by the wider public. They go on to say that, sadly, Sarah is not the only woman to have lost her life recently in violent circumstances, and we'd like to extend our deepest sympathy to other families who are also grieving. Yeah, you know, hearing that statement from Sarah's parents, Ellie, I'm reminded just how dignified they've been throughout the whole thing. Um, so, so traumatic for them. Uh, and you talk about the bandstand behind you. That was the site of many of the tributes because, as you say, so many people were horrified by what happened to Sarah. Uh, what's the mood like in Clapham this morning? A very popular part of, of South London, particularly with young people. Um, are there any tributes being laid today? Hi, Isabel. Yes, it's a really sad and, re and reflective mood uh, in Clapham Common today. We have had the first uh, flowers that have started uh, to be laid there. And I think this is what surprises so many people about this case is if you haven't been to Clapham before, it's a really leafy residential part of London. It's nicknamed Little Surrey. Lots of young professionals like Sarah live here. And that was which was so shocking about this case that Sarah was walking home at 9 p.m. at night. She was sticking to the roads. She was wearing sensible clothes. She was wearing trainers. She rang her boyfriend and still she didn't get home safely. And we know that she was abducted and killed by a serving Metropolitan Police officer. And what shocks so many people is Wayne Cousins was somebody that was supposed to be there to protect her as a police officer. But we know from hearing in court that he actually planned the abduction for days ahead, uh, that he arrested Sarah Cousins using uh, Sarah Everard using using his warrant card and using his handcuffs as well. So it really was an awful ordeal for poor Sarah. And that's what people have been remarking on uh, in Clapham Common today. A man about an hour ago just placed flowers there and said he had to do something for Sarah. He's got daughters that live nearby and he wanted to pay his respects. And I'm sure that we are going to see lots of people paying respects here at the bandstand.